All right, well, just thoughts on getting this sweep and you know, kind of just piling on throughout the game. Today. Yeah, I mean, uh, ideal. I mean, it's obviously an unorthodox series, you know, preparing to play Thursday and then playing the doubleheader yesterday. Uh, I think that's what really propelled us to, to the win today is being able to secure the doubleheader. I mean, it's not easy. Um, and then today, you know, just taking care of business, sticking to play it offensively, and obviously, the pitchers were really, really good. What was it like just watching the pitchers go in there and dominate? Just watching them pound the zone, keep, keep the knees off our toes, and uh, especially coming off the double header yesterday, we're able to get back in the dugout and relax because uh, you know throwing strikes and kind of forget it. How much confidence does that give you as a batter, knowing that you've got great guys out there? Oh yeah, I mean, you know, it's a, a sense of comfortability. Um, it can be too much sometimes, like we saw at the start of our first game yesterday. But um, it's, it's really, it's really good. You know, those guys are going to pick us up. And, uh, from a player perspective, how do you guys treat a potential no hitter? Are you talking about it or just No, I mean, when they went to review the ground ball, uh, Carter and I were, he was like, I think that's a hit. Uh, but other than that, no, nah, we, we kind of kept it on the low. At what point in the game did you personally become aware that you guys were carrying, that the team was carrying a no hitter? Um, I, I realized, I mean, it was early because. Uh, I pay attention to how, how Norby was doing. Um, I look back at the scoreboard after every pitch, check the count, everything, and I think it was the, like the top of the fourth. I looked back and saw zero there, so that's when I was aware, and then I just try not to say anything to anybody. Specific to Ethan himself, like how special was it to see him uh, go out and dominate like his brother did so many times? <laughs> I bet he hears that one a lot. Um, no, but man, he is, he's, he's worked his butt off. Um, great fall, um, then, you know, he kind of had a rough start in the spring, but, you know, he didn't. He didn't freak out or anything. He kept kept his business and you know, he's pretty pretty good. He's a guy who kind of started as a freshman, kind of has done that. Do you say stuff to the freshman? Come on, Sean. You know, I, I, I try to pour into the young guys, especially. I mean, I, I was blessed to, to play, obviously, from day one. So um, it, it's not easy as a freshman either. Um, you know, it's a 56 plus game season, and you know, you're playing 20 in high school. So. Just give those guys some you know, free advice and some that uh, I've taken to. How weird is it going to be tomorrow not playing on Sunday? Yeah, I guess that's right. Um, that is going to be weird, but I'm happy to make the drive home to see family tomorrow. Can we ask about State? Yeah. Big, big game. With yeah, absolutely. Hey. Uh, you know, hey, I'm not worried. You know, I, 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 no problem with AMAC. I mean, we we're, we're boys when he's here. Uh, we're still we're still good friends. I talked to him uh, at a football game in the fall. So, you know, we're we're just gonna go get off the bus and play our best baseball and get back on the bus and go home. And that's the simplest way I can put it. Is there any Greensboro crossover with you? Do you have any former high school guys or guys, um, guys you know well on, on stage? Uh, I know a couple guys well. Played some summer ball. Played against a couple guys there, but um, nobody that I'm like super familiar. With. Actually, yeah, that's right. Nobody I'm super familiar with. And this is why you come here, right? East Carolina is the big games, like Absolutely. this rivalry games. Yeah, no, uh, the in-state rivalries. I mean, you heard of Noack. <laughs> you can't stand them. Uh, but no, we love playing those type of games because they mean a lot, and they're uh, going to propel us for where we want to be at the end of the year.